When snow and ice hit, the city's plow drivers can be found on the streets. Every uh, route will have two pieces of equipment in it, one truck and one amp loader. Dave Gillum has worked for the city for nearly 30 years, and during that time, he's logged some long days and nights. For 16 hours is what's legal by law, then with an eight hour break. Through decades behind the wheel of a snowplow, the biggest challenge has always remained the same. The biggest gift that you could give the snowplow driver is to remove your cars from the street would be probably the most helpful thing you could do for us. Not everyone has off-street parking available, but if you do, the plow drivers ask for the space to make sure they can completely clear the road. If it is too narrow, the plow driver may not be able to get down the street, which inevitably means that we won't be able to plow your road until some of the cars are moved. Another helpful favor is to make sure not to tailgate behind a plow. Just give us a little bit of space. You know, don't be right on us. For the most part, most people are kind of courteous. If they see you coming, they move off to the side. Take it slow and stay safe. If you don't need to go anywhere, don't. The less cars that are out there, the faster that we can do our job. The city is broken into 13 different sections, and plow drivers use a priority ranking system to determine which streets are plowed first. The streets are laid out in three different colors. The most important street is a red street, which is a main arterial street that's coming into town. That is going to be our first priority. Second priority, marked in blue, includes heavily traveled roads and steeper grade streets. The third priority consists of flat, residential streets that see less traffic. The residentials and like circles, dead ends, and things like that. Clearing the roads is an important job, but it's not one that can be done quickly. They need to be able to clear the streets effectively, and that does take time. By giving the plow drivers the space and time needed to clear the streets, we can all get where we're going safely. I'd like to thank all the residents for being patient with us. Our goal is to get people to and from where they're going as safely as possible, and that does take patience with all the residents that we have. 